Misery is easy. Happiness you have to work at. That's a line from a little obscure movie, Undine, starring Colin Farrell as a hapless Irish fisherman. He's also a recovering alcoholic with an ex-wife and a precocious daughter, which makes for some wonderful dialogue. Recommend the movie. The line is uttered by a Greek chorus type of inconsequential side character, who's helping Syracuse, Farrell's character, sober up one morning after our hero has fallen off the wagon for the first time in years. The line just stopped me in my tracks, or more woke me out of a moderate slumber, to be more accurate. Misery is easy. We see it all the time. We get used to it. We actually expect it, anticipate it, and grow comfortable with it. Misery can be the de facto state for some. The glass ceiling is one case of misery some expect and accept easily. Or rather, our feeling about that glass ceiling can be the foundation of our misery. There are myriad situations and behaviors that cause us to complain about our lots in life. Misery is the feeling we get when we're not meeting some expectation, some program should we learned along the way. We should be married, rich, fast, slim, handsome, creative, educated, sober, keeping up with the Joneses. So, so why is it that it's happiness we have to work for? And what does that work look like? I find I can get mired down in my own unmet expectations when they're the only subjects on my mind. And I have a little of that comfort zone buzz when I don't meet expectations. Again, see, I'm right. I can't, yada, 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 yada. So here's the work. I recognize, when I work on it, that for every unmet expectation I feel obligated to focus on, I have multiple blessings and wins and miracles, both large and small, that occur on a daily basis. It's just that sometimes, maybe most of the time, they don't appear on my radar. They're forced back into the shadows of my need to feel comfortably miserable. The work is making sure that they do show up and are recognized constantly. The work is recognizing when I'm too comfortable in my misery and my occasional pity party and choose to recognize all the times when things actually go right. When I am present enough to do this work, often enough and well enough, then the situation or behavior that can cause the associated misery appears as just another pebble in the road. And it's a very pretty road. I'm Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.